When you look at your life, the way you live it, many times you would have noticed that you are ruled by compulsive emotions. <laughs> Today you really want to be peaceful, Today it happens to be your wife's birthday, your husband's something. You really want to make sure nothing goes wrong. That's a day just the anger rules you, just comes out for no reason. So, these things people try to control for their whole lifetimes and nothing changes. The mechanics of the mind, the way the mind functions is just the way the karmic substance is. Because mind is just an accumulation. What kind of accumulation you have, that's how it functions. If one has to go beyond the limitations or beyond the compulsiveness, that a certain type of accumulation creates within us. Either one has to raise into a different level of awareness, consciousness, with which he can become free, or another way is he has to transform his energies. Raising to higher levels of consciousness <coughs> generally is very deceptive. Everybody believes they're very high consciousness. If you put them to test, <laughs> then they'll fail miserably because the nature of the mind is such, it can deceive you till the end. People <coughs> believe they have changed many, many times simply because their situations have become little more conducive, they have changed. If situations become extreme, again they are back to the same place. Yes, have you noticed this again and again? So transforming your energies is a more sure path, a more certain path, you are walking on solid ground. And all you need is a certain dedication and involvement in a certain practice. <clears throat> if one works sufficiently upon his energies, the right sense of understanding and guidance if it is done, very easily one can get enlightened on the level of his energy. His energy will be enlightened. His consciousness might not have gone beyond, but his energies will be enlightened. This is something we have been doing with uh, in close groups of people for a long time. Shiva also has spoken about it. Shiva says, when the spinal thread is touched, a light begins to glow in and around you. If you place the whole attention on the Shushumna Nadi, and if it is properly touched, then it becomes alive and it glows. Once it glows, slowly the energy will mature within a very short period of time and energy will become enlightened. It glows. You have a glow of an enlightened being, but you don't have the consciousness of an enlightened being. If you stand, if you simply sit quietly, you are a powerful being. You open your mouth, you're a fool, that's how you will be. <laughs> but it's good to be this way because this is easy to achieve. This is easy to achieve, all you need is dedication. Especially when I am around, this is very easy to do. If you just touch the spinal cord, it can just globe.
We have many like that. We don't name them. You don't go looking for them. When the spinal thread is touched, a light begins to glow in and around you. You have a glow of an enlightened being. Especially when I am around, this is very easy to do. We will set up procedures and methods and energy investments to help people towards that realization. All you need is a certain dedication and involvement in a certain practice.